Hi, I'm Lindsay Baumgren of Nourish Move Love, and this is your dumbbell arm workout. If you love strength training at home, hit subscribe to our YouTube channel, or better yet, hit that join button and join our YouTube community. All right, we have a quick and dirty dumbbell arm workout, you guys. We are gonna knock it out, and I have the awesome Rachel joining me today. Hi. She'll be offering some modifications throughout today's workout. Feel free to take this workout at your pace. We have dumbbells anywhere from 10 to 20 pounds, and we're focusing just on the upper body today. So we are gonna give each circuit, five circuits, hitting a muscle group. So we're gonna go shoulders, back, chest, biceps, triceps. There are three moves per circuit. It goes strength, power, isometrics. You're gonna do the strength move for 40 seconds, the power move for 30 seconds, and the isometric hold for 20 seconds. So the time drops with each move, which is a kind of a fun format. We both love we the really time like drop that. format. <laughs> All right, and you're only gonna get 10 seconds of rest in between each exercise, so it's gonna be quick and dirty, and we're gonna jump right in and knock this out. You ready, Rach? Let's go. All right, let's get ourselves warmed up. We're just gonna start standing here. Roll your shoulders. Let's go up towards the ears, roll them back and down. Let's do it again. Big inhale up, exhale back and down. One more time, big inhale up. Exhale, back down. Now just take those arms and just flap it out, flap it out, flap it out. Just start to get some movement in that upper body. Today is all about the arms. It's gonna be quick and dirty. I personally love like adding this onto a quick run. Love that. Yeah, if I have time. If I have time. <laughs> we'll see, three Maybe. kids, I don't have a lot of time these days. <laughs> Big inhale, reach up nice and tall. Let's just sweep those arms to the back. Core stays nice and tight. Big sweeps to the back, warming up those shoulder joints for four, three, two, switch directions. Sweep to the front, swim it out. Nice, big pedals, big full range of motion through that shoulder joint for four, three, two, and one. Take those hands behind your back, interlace the fingers, big chest expansion, hold here. Now take both hands over to your right hip and gaze over your left shoulder. Nice, take it straight back. Take both hands over to that left hip and gaze over your right shoulder. Awesome, bring it back to center. Go ahead, flap those wings one more time as you walk to the back of your space. We're gonna go into a plank walkout. So you're gonna take your hands, they hit the mat. You walk out, find a nice high plank position. Option to drop your hips if that feels good. Open up the chest, tuck the toes and walk it back in. Big stand up and reach, nice, do it again. Take it down, big plank walkout. Option to drop those hips and tuck those toes, walk it back in. Two more, just like that. Warming up the core, the shoulders, walk it out, hold here. Option, drop those hips, open up, spread those chests apart. Awesome, one more time, right here. And then you're gonna hold that plank position right here. Nice work, walk it out, option to drop those hips. Nice, bring it back up, hold that plank position. Option, you could stay in tabletop or drop to your knees. We're gonna go shoulder taps, opposite hand, opposite shoulder for eight, seven, six, you got it, five, four, three, two, one. Two push-ups, knees or toes, take it down, up, down, up. Nice, now lower all the way down to your belly or find a tabletop position. I'm gonna take my arms out to a big T, and this is one of my favorite chest and shoulder stretches, Scorpion. I'm gonna bring right toe towards left hand, shoulder, left shoulder stays connected to the mat. Just opening up this shoulder and chest right here. Nice little hip stretch as an added bonus. Rachel's gonna give you a nice thread the needle and switch it out. Now I'm gonna take left toe over to right hand. Nice little stretch, spinal rotation. Nice, bring it back to center. Bring yourself up to a tabletop position on all fours. Shoulders stacked over wrists, hips over knees. Drop the belly, lift the chin, and reverse it. Spine goes up towards the ceiling. Tuck the chin towards the chest. Bring it back to center. Find a nice neutral spine here. Right hand behind the head. Tap the elbow down and open. Tap and open. Some nice T-spine rotations right here. Get that spine nice and warm. It's gonna stabilize you throughout today's workout. Some of those final 20 second isometric holds are gonna really involve the core. I know we have people who love a good arms and abs combo in the audience. Nice, one more right here. Nice, right here, go ahead, step back, find that high plank one more time. Two more push-ups. down, up, down, up. Drop to those knees again. Left hand behind the head, T-spine rotations. Drop and open, drop and open, nice work. I feel like I get a little bit more range of motion on this side. Okay, I was just gonna say, you started including these in warm-ups a couple months ago, I feel like, and I can open up so much further now than I could even at the beginning. I love that, mobility is the name of the game. One more, we build it into every workout. Nice, right here, tuck those toes under, find that high plank one more time. Hold it here, you're gonna hold for four. Three, two, and one. Walk your hands back to meet your feet. Bring it all the way up to the top. One more time, big shoulder rolls up, back, and down. Flap those wings. Are you ready to do this, Rach? Let's go. Let's go. 
circuit one is all about the shoulders. My probably least favorite muscle group of the upper body, so we're gonna knock it out right away. It goes 40 seconds, 30 seconds, 20. You're gonna start with alternating. I'm gonna go alternating. If you have lighter weights, you could double them up. We're gonna go lat raises. We'll do front raises the second time through. So I'm gonna go a little bit lighter, and I'm gonna go alternating. If you have lighter weights and you wanna double up, go ahead and double up that lat raise. You're gonna do that for 40 seconds. You go right from that into a push press, two inch dip, drive, dip, drive, nice. And then you have a isometric hold, which we will finish with. You ready, Rach? Let's go. All right, we got three moves. Let's knock them out. You do each circuit twice, okay? Give me your best effort. I'm gonna go alternating lat raises. I'm gonna start on my right arm. Again, if you got lighter weights, go ahead and double this up. Let's start by rolling those shoulders down and back. Brace your core, soft bend in the knees, spread that mat apart underneath you, get yourself nice and set up. You're gonna bring that pinky out to about a 45 degree right there. We go in three, two, and one. So I'm just gonna lift and lift. This is a strength focused workout. Like I said, we're gonna go strength, power, isometric. So think slow and steady on these strength moves. Really want you to control that weight up and control it down. Don't just let that dumbbell fall back to your hip or to your side, really control it up. Also with lat raises, I like to think a little bit more about going to a 45 degree versus not straight out. That's not as good of an angle for the shoulder. Think 45, lead with the pinky, 45 degree out to the side. Nice, you're already in those final 10 seconds, yes? Big strong shoulders right here for five, four, three, two. I'm gonna go double for the last one, even it out. There we go, rest for 10, you're gonna rack them. Push press or strict press if you have lighter weights. We go 20 or 30 seconds in three, two, let's go. This is your power. So this is where if you wanna pick up the tempo and that pace a little bit, give it a little bit more. You can always pick up that intensity right here in the power portion, strength, power, isometrics. Woo! Have we ever done this format for upper body? Never. I think so, right? No. It's a fun new format, you guys. We love it. Bringing it to you, come on, 10 seconds. 10 seconds, woo, finish right here. Five, four, three, two, you're out. Holy bananas, that gets me every time. All right, isometric, ready? Right arm shoots straight overhead. Left arm racks right here, 20 seconds. You're gonna hold, option. Bring this left knee up, just hold. Lock it out, 20 seconds, you're just holding. Ah, this is that overhead march position. Shoulders are turned on, core is turned on. Try not to dip into that right hip, keep it strong. Keep that left knee in line with the left hip. Woo, does it burn? Come on, you're in there for five, four, three, two, and one. I don't know, I always think isometric holds are just tough. The hardest part. <laughs> All right, rest for 10, do it again, you ready? This time we're gonna go front raises. I'm gonna stick with that alternating format. Front raises, option, double up those weights. We go in three, two, let's go, let's go. To the front, again, this is your 40 seconds of strength. Okay, slow and steady on that strength portion. We're really gonna slow down those reps on the strength. Maybe even go isometric if you need to. Nice. And then you got 30 seconds of power. That's where you can pick up that intensity. Nice work, guys. You got it, one rep at a time. Just lifting right up to shoulder height, lowering with control. Lift, lower with control. Woo! Getting that shoulder burn in that first circuit. Real spicy. <sighs> come on, come on. Nice work, you guys. Stay with it, five seconds. Five, four, three, two, and rest. I gotta set the weights down, shake it out. We go push, press, push, press, 30 seconds. This is your power. Pick those weights up, you're on in three, two. Let's go, let's go dip, drive, 30 seconds. Come on, push, big exhale, gets those weights over, head, strength, then power, Woo. then isometric. If it gets heavy, you can always alternate. Alternate those shoulders, push and push. You got it, stay with it. 10, nine, come on. Yes, you can. Final five, four, three, two, you're out. Woo, holy banana, shoulders are on fire. Are you ready? Left arm shoots overhead, right arm racks right here. Right knee comes up. You're gonna hold it for 20 seconds. In three, two, shoot it up. Standing on that left leg, right knee comes up, hold, 20 seconds. So your isometric hold, arms and abs built in together. Deanne said she loves the arms and abs combo. Deanne, this one's for you, how do you feel about it? Woo, come on, come on, hang in it. Come on, five, four, three, two, 
and recover. Nice work, you guys. Grab some water. That's circuit one. Shoulders in and out. Moving on to back, my personal favorite. Mm -hmm. My personal favorite of the upper body. Definitely. I always love to hear from you guys. What is your favorite upper body muscle? We're gonna go eccentric, reverse grip, single arm row. We'll start with dumbbell in the right hand, okay? So I'm gonna go up on one, down two, up on one, lower with control. We're gonna focus on that lower. That's where the muscle building happens. You can go right from that into power rows. So you're gonna wanna have two dumbbells right here and you're just gonna switch, 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 switch for 30 seconds. Yes? Okay. We'll get to our isometric move. Also a lot of fun. You ready, Rach? <laughs> Let's go. All right, single arm rows on that right arm. We're hitting the back. Here we go. Palm faces me. Okay, reverse grip if you want to. Hinge over, core is tight. We go in three, two. Let's go. Up on one, lower for two. Pull on one, lower for two. Now you're just focusing on one arm at a time. Can you go a little bit heavier here? Remember, back is your largest muscle in the upper body. Big, strong back. Go heavy here. Pull that elbow to hip. Pull from the elbow, lower with control. Up on one, down. Two, up on one, lower with control. Core stays nice and tight. Yes, you can. Nice work. Come on. 10 more seconds here. Then you grab two weights, power. Alternating rows. That's where we go. In five, four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna switch them out. Grab two weights. Hinge it over. Whew. 30 seconds. Alternate that row. Row, 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 yes? Hinge it over, palms face in, narrow grip. We go in three, two, let's go. Right, left, switch, 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 switch. Come on, nice work. Nice, even though that weight is pulling you side to side, keep that core tight. Hips and shoulders square. Come on, power rows, 30 seconds. Yes, you can, pull, 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 10. Yes, nice work team. Stay with it right here. Final five, four, three, two, you're out. I'm dropping to the ground, right arm only. I'm gonna hold a plank and roll. Rachel's gonna hold a bird dog. I'm just gonna hold that right elbow to my hip. It's an isometric hold for 20 seconds in three, two, hold, plank and roll, hold. I'm holding for 20 seconds right here. Hips are square to the ground. Shoulders are square to the ground. Yes, Rachel's got a bird dog row hold. One knee down, come on. 10 seconds, hold it here. Core stays strong. Yes, you got this. Woo, keep breathing. Five, four, nice work. Stay with it. Three, two, you're out. Woo, that's a new one. Holding. We always do like plank and row, but how often do you just hold? Hold. Just do it. <laughs> Isometrics are hard. All right, you guys. Same moves, other side. Reverse grip row, palm faces out. Up on one, down on two. Left arm only, yes? We go in three, two, let's go, let's go. Up on one, down two. 40 seconds here, slow and steady on the strength. Strength, power, isometrics. I like it, it's a good I mix. Too. I try and go heavier on the strength. I'm gonna go a little bit lighter. I'm gonna take my 15s on the power so I can move through that a little bit faster. And then that isometric hold just adds the fire. They all have different benefits too, right? Yes. We do them all for different reasons. Exactly, and we're putting them all in one workout for you, right? This is for muscle gains right here. Power, we're gonna hit a little bit more of that fast twitch muscle movement, right? Isometrics, time under tension. Nice work, final three, two, and one. Nice work, power, alternating. Palms are gonna face in, narrow grip row. Alternate those rows, it's 30 seconds, yes? Woo, roll the shoulders down and back. Hinge it over, belly's tight. Power rows in three, two, let's go, let's go. Right, left, switch, switch your pace, your tempo. Try not to let those weights pull you like this. We're not moving. Hips are square, shoulders are square. Core is strong, yes? Pull elbow to hip, elbow to hip, row. Nice work, team. You got it. Stay with it. What would it look like if I said 10 more seconds here? Yes, you can. Just keep those weights moving, moving. Five, four, three, two. You're out. Nice work. Isometric hold on the left. Are you ready? Isometric hold on the left. Plank and row or bird dog row. You're going to hold. Left elbow to left hip. 20 seconds in three, two. Let's go, isometric hold. I like to take a nice wide base with my feet, keep those hips square and stable. Come on, hang in it. Keep that elbow to hip, shoulder down, away from the ear. Woo, you are so strong right here. So stinking strong. Yes, you can. Come on, you're holding for five, four, three, 
three, two, set the weight down, rest and recover. Woo, that was fun. That was. All right, we're gonna stay right here on the mat. We're gonna go to chest. I'm gonna try and go heavy. Again, chest, second largest muscle group in the upper body. I'll start with my 20s, see where we land. All right, we're gonna take it to our backside. You have a dumbbell chest press, dumbbell chest press, laying on your back. Okay, good old chest press. We're gonna add that eccentric movement. We're gonna go down on a three count, up on one. So up on one, lower, two, three, up on one. I'm just going to the point where my back of my arm grazes the floor. You can go right from that into a single power arm press. Okay, you're gonna hold one arm over head and go double, or just power, pick up the tempo for the one arm. All right, Rach, you ready? Let's go. Slow Let's and steady. Down on a three count, up on a one count. We'll push up everybody together. 40 seconds in three, two. Let's go. Push up, lower, two, three. Exhale, push, down, two, three. Exhale, push, down, two, three. Big push up. Come on, can you use those heavy weights? If you want to get on a stability ball or a bench, it's going to give you a little bit more range of motion. If you're on the floor like Rach and I, you're not letting those arms come to a rest. Don't let them hit the mat. Just hover, push, keep constant tension on that chest. 10 seconds, down, two, three, up on one. Take it down, two, three, final three, two, one. Okay, just one arm is gonna move, doesn't matter which one. Just make sure you know the other one's gonna move next time, yes? I'm gonna hold one arm overhead. Other arm, I'm gonna pick up the tempo. Single count press, 30 seconds. Here we go. This is my arm I'm gonna move. I go in three, two, let's go. Push, come on, push. This is your power, single arm press. Come on, push. It should get real spicy at the end of this, yes? That's how you know you're using the right weights. Push, strength, this is your power. Chance to pick up that intensity. Pick up the pace. Push, come on, more volume here. More reps, more reps than you got in that 40 seconds of strength. More reps, right here, yes. Final four, three, two, and one. Holy stinking bananas. Woo! Take both weights, you're gonna push them together. I might have to drop weights here, we'll see how this goes. Diamond press, you're gonna push them together. Hover them off your chest and hold a hollow rock for 20 seconds. Ah, are you ready? Here we go. Let's go, three, two, let's go 20 seconds. I'm pushing the weights together. The harder I push these dumbbells together, the more intense it is on my chest. You should be shaking, everything is turned on. Legs are extended as far as they can be. Oh, Rachel's got bent knees, 10 seconds. Oh, hang in the fire, it burns, yes I know. Come on, final five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, harder than it looks. One of those moves, so much harder than it looks. Whew. Okay, let's do it again, you ready? Chest press, this time we go down on a two count, up on a one count, down two, up on one. Both dumbbells are moving for 40 seconds. We go in three, in two, let's go. Up on one, take it down, two, up on one, lower. Again, I'm not coming at that 90 degree angle, thinking a little bit more 45, elbows are dropping, kind of to what would make an uppercase A, just like you do push-ups. Down, two, up on one, take it lower, two, big exhale press, inhale, two, exhale push. Come on, yes you can. Last time on the chest press, we go to power press. Other arm in 10, nine, eight, you got this, seven, yes you can. Final five, four, three, two, one. Holy bananas, take that 10 second break. All right, other arm, doesn't matter which arm you did last time, just do the other one this time. One arm stays high, other arm, power, press, down, up, down, up. How many reps can you get in 30 seconds? That's your goal, in three, two, Let's go, let's go. Just keep that dumbbell moving. Down, up, down, up. Come on, it's a power press. Strength, power, right here. You're going for reps. Shh. Ah, this is hard because I'm keeping that same weight I did at the slower pace. Shh. But now I'm adding intensity by adding volume. Ah, volume, come on. <sighs> 10, nine, yes you can. Stay with me right here. Final three, Shh. two, and one holy bananas, I found failure. I gotta switch to my 15s for this last move. You're gonna take those weights, push them together. Diamond press, you're just holding it, hovering it off your chest. Hollow rock, legs kick out. We go, 20 second hold in three, 
in two. Let's go, hold. Get those weights off your chest. Yes, get those weights off your chest. Come on, push those weights together. The harder you press, the harder it is. Hold it here. Woo, you're halfway, 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left, feel the fire, feel the fire. Hang with me. Five, four, three, two, and you're done. Woo, chest, spicy, no? No push-ups and it's still spicy, <laughs> right? I'm not gonna promise there's no push-ups in the workout, but we'll come back to that. Okay, guys, up and up. We're going into biceps, woo. Weights are all over the place. We're going into biceps, guys. Biceps, biceps, grab the weights you wanna use for biceps. All right, strength. Strength move, eccentric curls, okay? Same thing we did with the chest. Up on one, down two, three. Down on a three count. Up on one, down on a three count. 40 seconds, grab your weights. And then we're gonna go into those power hammer curls. We're gonna start palms out, we'll go palms in. We go in three, two, let's go, let's go. Up on one, down, two, three. Up on one, take it slow. Slow, controlled, all the way up. Down, again, remember, soft bend in the knees. I like to think about spreading my yoga mat apart underneath me, actively engages my core and my glutes. Down, two, three, up on one. Lower, with control, up on one, you got it, down. Two, these arms are feeling it, how Already. are you doing, Rach? <laughs> 10 seconds, yes, this is when it should feel hard. If it does, you're using the right weights. Final five, four, three, two, and one, again, it's one of those grit your teeth. Just get through it. Woo. We go power, alternating hammer curls, palms face in this time, palms face in. How many reps can you get in this 30 seconds? We go in three, two, let's go, let's go. Curl, curl, curl. I'm gonna find a pace I can try and stick with for 30 seconds. Yes, you could go lighter and faster. Again, I'm gonna try and stick with the same weight I use for strength. Might slow me down a bit. Come on, just keep those weights. Moving, keep them moving. You got it. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Let's go. Woo! Don't swing them, control them right here. Five, four, three, two, one. I gotta set it down, shake it out. Your isometric hold is just a good old half hold. A good old half hold. Let's go for balance. Okay, Let's bring I'll one like knee it. up. Standing on your right leg, if you can. Left knee floats off the mat. Here we go. Get them up, hold halfway in three, two. Hold it halfway, just hold. Hold, you got 20 seconds. Keep that knee in line with the hip. Woo, keep the elbows off the body. That makes it even harder. Ah, come on, elbows are in line or slightly in front of that body. 10 seconds here. Woo, it burns, I know, yes you can. You're here for five, four, three, two, and one, set them down. Woo, holy bananas, how are we doing, Rach? Pump, feeling I will, it. I will I could, pump ooh. you up, right? <laughs> got a good arm swole going on. All right, another time through this, all you guys got. Come on, one more time through biceps, triceps, and you're done. Come on, let's hit those biceps one more time. We go up on a one, down on two, palms face out facing me, shoulders down and back. Up on one, down on two, in three, two. Let's go, let's go. Up on one, down, two, take it up on one. Half, full, up. Halfway down, all the way down. You got this. Nice work. Ah, it burns, I know. Stay with it. Come on, you got this. Shh. Halfway, halfway, 20 seconds left in the fire. Man, these biceps, they're feeling it. Ah, remember that time we did a full bicep workout for 20 minutes? No, I blacked it out. That was I crazy. I don't remember it. Shh. This feels kind of similar right now. Final five. Four, three, two, and one rest. Woo. Hammer curls, hammer curls. I'm gonna go lighter. Man, my biceps are feeling it. I'm gonna go lighter and try and go faster. I'm gonna pick up my tens and try and pick up my pace for the power. You ready? Let's power hammer curls, 30 seconds. In three, two, let's go, let's go. Boom, boom. It's kind of funny, like you ever do like a, a drop set workout where you just do the same move and just keep going with limited rest. That's what this feels like. And then you grab those 10 pound weights and you're in the gym and you're like, I swear this looks so, so much heavy. harder than it is. These 10 pounds feel heavy. Come on, You ever keep pick them. up the weights and double check? You're like, are you sure this is 10 right? pounds? There's no way. Man, does it feel heavy right now? Keep them moving, keep them moving. Come on, five, four, three, two, one, woo! The intensity, I'm gonna try and pick up those heavy weights. You're gonna stand on your left leg, right knee comes in line with the hip. Yes, halfway hold. Final set for the biceps, you're on to triceps. Here we go, 20 seconds in three, two, 
Get him up halfway and hold, hold. Nice, you're just isometric hold right here. Elbows off the body, right knee in line with the right hip. Hold, just keep breathing. Come on, it's only 20 seconds and you only got 10 left. Soft bend in that standing leg. Oh, turn it on, turn it on right here. You got it, final four. Three, two, and one. You officially can't pick up your baby for the rest of the day if you are a mom. Holy bananas. Don't try and wash your hair tonight. Don't try and wash your hair no. today. Don't try and pick up your babies. Just call it a day. No, just kidding. Uh, no, this is why we do what we do, right? Lindsay, functional strength training. Lindsay commented, she's like, I love how functional your workouts are. They're so great for moms. This is so true. Like, how often are you, like, holding a baby on one hip, holding a dinner plate in this hand? Like, this is functional strength training. All right, you guys, to your backside for triceps. To your backside for triceps right here. Skull crushers, skull crushers on your backside. Bend, extend for 40 seconds. Then you're gonna come into a half kneeling position for a fun move. I like to call it the tricep throw. All right, we got some fun new moves coming at you. Get on your backside right here. 40 seconds skull crushers. 40 seconds of skull crushers. Arms are up in three, two. Final circuit right here. Down and up. Bend, extend. Probably my personal favorite tricep exercise, I think, especially for strength. Like if I'm looking to add muscle gains to my tricep, I just feel like the skull crusher is so effective. I was laughing when you said the first circuit. Shoulders are your least favorite muscle to work, right? Yes, hands down, my least favorite shoulders. Yeah, triceps are mine. Are like, they? Oh no, having to work it, wait till the very end. To knock I'm them so out. sorry. I'm so sorry, Rachel. No, I put shoulders good. first it's selfishly good. to get them out of the way. <laughs> Next time I'll go shoulders, triceps. I like them. They're just hard for me, you know, but right. that means it's good. It means I should do them. Right? That's why we're here. Come on. Three, two, and one. Sometimes when you work out independently, you're like, yeah, I don't really like that move, so I'll just skip it. Not always the best theory, but sometimes that's what we do. Okay, great. I'm going to come up into a half kneeling position. I'm going to go lighter weight, 10 pounds, single arm. I'm going to take this weight overhead. It's like I'm throwing like a football to my son. Shh single arm tricep. It's so stinking hard. That's why I got a 10 pound. Rachel's going to show you an awesome modification if this doesn't feel good for you. Okay. Single arm kickback. We go 30 seconds in three, two. Let's go. Let's go. Then this is where the power comes in. I'm thinking about really exploding up. So slow control, lower power throw, slow control, lower power throw. Like you're throwing a football. <laughs> I don't know. My power is not looking very powerful right now. I might need a second hand to help me up. Power, power, come on, Lindsay, power. Why is it so hard? <laughs> I always write the workout and then I do it and I'm like, it's so much harder. Four, three, two, one. We should not have waited to do that to the last, last circuit, Rachel. Try to <laughs> circuit to the next time. I'm yeah. requesting it. And now you gotta do a tricep push up hold. Okay, so elbows are gonna fall at your sides. You're gonna hold halfway. You're just gonna hold the tricep push up <laughs> for 20 seconds. You're just gonna You're do just it. You're just going to. You're just going to. You can do it from your knees. Take it to an incline. I'm gonna do my best. You do yours. Yes? That's where we're at today. 20 seconds. Yes? Halfway hold in three. Two, let's go, arms are glued at the side. Hold it here, it's 20 seconds, it's 20 seconds. There's a two by four from head to tailbone. Hold it here. Come on, pull those arms nice and tight to your side. Yes, you can. Woo, 10 seconds, keep holding. You are so stinking strong. Ha, final five, four, three, two, and one. <sighs> okay, one more time. One more time through it, guys. One more time through it. On your backside, on your backside, here we go. Skull crushers, skull crushers, yes? We go skull crushers, 40 seconds, finish it. 40, 30, 20, and you're done. In three, in two, let's go. Skull crushers, bend, extend. I should have grabbed the five pound weights for that throw, the throwing move. Now I know for next time, I'm gonna need some lighter weights up in here. Come on, you got it, down and up. Nice work, team, down and up. Stay with it, bend, extend, bend. Extend. Woo, these triceps are on fire. Also feeling the difference between the arm we did extra work on already and the other one is crazy. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. I feel that so much. Come on, team. <sighs> Just keep moving. What would it look like if I said five, four, three, two, muscle failure right there, 101. Woof -da. Holy stinking bananas. There it is. There it is. <laughs> All right, we're gonna throw the bomb again. <laughs> throw the bomb. I'm gonna do my best to see what I can do. Maybe somehow my arm, my left arm is stronger. Let's go. Last time. Last time, 30 seconds. 
30 seconds in three, two, let's go. It does feel a little bit stronger. I say that in the first three reps. 30 seconds right here, come on. I'm just gonna close my eyes, grip my teeth. Gotta add that other arm to help. I'm gonna lower down and then add my other arm to help throw it. Come on, you're in the final 10. Let's go team. Five, four, three, two, and holy bananas, one. I think at the beginning of this I said I like to add a run. That is false, I am done. There is no run happening today. This is a complete workout right here. Much longer than I anticipated. Complete workout right here. Okay, you're gonna hold that tricep push up halfway. I don't know what I was thinking. You're gonna glue those arms at your side. Here we go. Tricep push up hold. This is your last 20 seconds, team. Last 20 seconds. You're in the fire. Hold it there in three, two, let's go. You can do anything for 20 seconds. Yes, you can. You are so strong right here. Mentally and physically tough. That's what you are. You were made to do hard things. This is hard. You are tough. You are strong. I am so stinking proud of you today. Come on, arms are shaking. Talia said my arms are shaking. Talia, mine are two, five, four, three, two, one. Hit the deck. You are done. Nice work, Rach. Way to go, Lindsay. <laughs> nice work at home. You guys rock. You are so stinking awesome. I am so proud of you. Shake out those little arms. Ooh, do they deserve a good shake out after that? Let's stretch it out, yeah? Okay, that scorpion move that we did in the beginning, I'm going right back into it. You're gonna thread the needle, Rach. I'm going scorpion, belly to ground, because it just is gonna feel so good. Right here, I'm gonna take right toe to left arm. Shoulder stays connected to the mat, opening up shoulder and chest. This just feels so stinking good. After that tough workout, I'm not gonna lie, that was harder than I anticipated. Much harder than I anticipated. Other side, I'm gonna take my other toe towards my other hand. Right shoulder stays connected to the ground. Challenging, but good. That was a solid, I feel good now. I really, I love the 40, 30, 20. I really like that. Time format. drop. Yeah. Time drop, right? Okay, now you're gonna come up into that tabletop position. Hips stay high, arms walk away. Nice puppy dog stretch. Think about dropping your armpits down towards the ground. Nice back stretch. Stretching through that back. Now take your hands, put your palms up to the ceiling and take your palms and reach them for the middle of the back. Do you feel that tricep stretch? Right? Ooh, those triceps, man, did they get spicy today. Just holding here, hips are high. Nice little tricep stretch. Ooh, that feels good. Ah, four, three, two. I think I have a tricep cramp. Is that even possible? Holy bananas, that was so good. Awesome job, Rach. I am so proud of you. I'm so proud of you at home. We'd love to see you back on the mat for another workout really soon. Have a great day. Awesome job crushing that arm workout. If you loved it, hit subscribe to our YouTube channel. Or better yet, hit that join button and join our YouTube community, getting access to even more workouts. If you wanna add on an ab workout, we got that lined up for you right here. Or you can find all of our upper body workouts in this playlist right here. Have a great day.